What's going on, you guys? Today, I want to show you how to take photos from a memory card and get them off of the memory card and into Adobe Lightroom, which is where we're going to be working on them all year long. So let's get to it. You have somewhere on your computer a little memory card reader that looks just like this dude right here. It's probably taped down, though, so you can't pick it up. And then right here on the front of it, there's a little slot where you can put a memory card in. So the memory card actually goes in upside down. So you can see this is actually the bottom. So you can see there's the front of the memory card. So it's just going to go in just like that. You should see somewhere on there a little blue light or a light that lights up when you do that. So go ahead and put your memory card into your card reader. And let's do a spotlight search. So a little command space bar. It's opening up on my other screen, but it's there. I'm going to just type in Lightroom. Or if you've been following along with the class, you might have an icon to Lightroom right here down on your desktop. So go ahead and open up Lightroom. And it's going to open up, you guys, and it's going to look very different from mine. Look, I've got 7,810 photos in mine. You're probably not going to have any photos in yours since this is the first time you've done this. So it's probably going to want to walk you through like some tours and learn Lightroom. Just close out of everything. Close out of everything. If your Mac asks, it says Lightroom wants permission to do this or that, close, just click on OK, close everything. Let's just get to where we can just run everything and there's no tour or anything going on. And what we're looking for is over here on the left-hand side, some type of add photos button. This might be hidden with this button right here. So if you need to, you can click on that guy right there to bring up add photos. And there it is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you can see I have two options here. I can either browse and find photos somewhere on my computer or... I can load up a memory card. I already have a memory card in my card reader. So if I have this option, I want to choose that. Now, if you have a memory card in your card reader, but this option is not there, then here's what you do. You need to come in here and take the memory card out of the card reader, and then you'll get a nasty little warning from your Mac saying, hey, quit doing that. It's fine, ignore that. And then you're just gonna put it right back in to the memory card reader. And doing that should now, ignore that, that's a whole different thing, should, when I come over here to add photos, I should see the memory card. Mine show up twice for some reason, I don't know why. So just click on one of those two if you see them twice. And now this is gonna pop up and look, Lightroom wants access, heck yeah, take it Lightroom. Now, these are volleyball photos because this is a memory card from my yearbook class, so yours is going to look a little bit different. But let's just kind of see what we're looking at here. If I scroll down, you can see here are all the photos that are on this memory card, so that's great. I'll scroll back up. Notice all of these photos are checked. That means they're all going to get added. And then look up here. I've got 283 photos, but we're not going to add them yet because here's why. Every assignment you do in this class, you guys, needs to go into its own album. So this assignment that this video is being made for is called Download and Turn in Practice 1. So before I do anything on this screen right here, I'm going to come up here where it says Add to Album. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to make a new album. So a new album here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to call this, ready for this, the name of the assignment. So in this case, it's Download and Turn in Practice 1. One. Now, does this have to be exact? No. Do you, if you want to put download one, could you? Sure. I'm okay with that. And we go ahead and hit create here. And these, all 283 of these photos are now going to be added to download and turn in practice one. Now, I know what you're, you're thinking, hold up, Johnson. I have photos on my memory card that I don't want to be part of this album. What do I do? Well, this is why we format a memory card before we shoot, so we don't have this problem. But let's say I only wanted these first 20 photos here and I didn't want the rest of them. Or let's say I only want these 20 right here in the middle. Let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna come up here to select all and I'm gonna uncheck that. And that's going to deselect all of the photos. Now you could go through and just manually select the ones you want. That's a little bit obnoxious and very time consuming, especially if you needed to select like 40 photos. So what I'm gonna do instead is deselect everything by selecting everything and then deselecting everything. Because let's say I want this to be my first photo and this to be my last photo. If I click on this photo and then hold down the shift key and click on this photo, not on the check boxes themselves, but on the photo itself, see how that put those white boxes around all of them? That's what I wanna see. Now I'm just going to check one of these boxes. It doesn't matter which one. It could be this one right here. 
And you can see that put check marks in just those photos right there. And now just those photos are going to be added to download and turn in practice one. Now that shouldn't happen very often because we're going to be formatting our memory cards, which means we should almost always just be selecting all of them and adding them to the album and going ahead and hitting add 283 photos. It makes life way easier, you guys, if you will remember to add them to an album first. You can add them to an album after you import or after you click on this add photos button, but it does make life a lot easier for you if you remember to do it here. So let's try to remember to do that the right way. I'm gonna go ahead and hit add 283 photos. And you can see over here is my progress bar. It's importing those photos right there. And you can see it's gonna take a little bit. So I'm gonna pause the video and we'll pick this up when it's done. Okay, so it just finished importing. Beautiful. It ejected my memory card for me. That was very kind. So I can actually take my memory card out and put this in my pocket or my wallet or somewhere I'm going to make sure I don't forget it because we don't want to do that. And then let's talk about what we're looking at over here. By default, anytime you import, Lightroom takes you to the, your recently added. And you can see one minute ago, I added 283 photos. That's great. But that's not where I want to be. When it comes time to work on and edit our photos, we don't want to be here. We want to be down here under albums. And I want to come down here. I want to find download and turn in one. And there it is. There are my 283 photos. This is what I'm going to turn in. So you have to make sure you come down here and select your album to do what we're going to do in the rest of these videos. But that's it, you guys. That's the right way to import photos into Lightroom and add them to an album in the next video i'll show you what to do if you added them to an app are you in the next video i'll show you what to do if you imported your photos but you forgot to add them to an album